Hey guys, new video here. Real quick, uh, everyone knows about this vendor. She will always be right next to the infinite dungeon that you get two of per day. Um, her name is uh, Magic Scholar Janika in any city. So you probably have been here before on your characters uh, after you're done with your dailies, right? Sometime in the week, you're going to farm up a bunch of these shards. You're going to farm up these, these circular things, right? And it's amazing because like on each character, you can buy honing mats. So it's like it's a way to upgrade your characters and get them more juiced up. Everybody knows that part. Uh, what you should do, though, if you have a lot of alts that you're bringing through the tiers or if you reach another break point. So, for example, you go from uh, blue accessories to purple to legendary. Um, you can actually get the stats you want pretty much for free. Uh, because how you do it is imagine that this character right here, pull just hit 802. Right. And so you will have the tier one jewelry. It'll suck. All right. So you go here and instead of buying it from the auction house, which costs peons, you go here and you farmed up these things on, you know, the previous weeks or whatever. And you can just buy the rings. You can't buy two of the same name, but you can you can switch between these two. And then they're only 15 crystals. You will get hundreds, if not thousands of these just by playing the game. Right. You, are, you probably already do because you're buying these shards with these crystals. So you just you just spam these. They're random. They can be class specific engravings and they can also be non class specific. So um, it's very, very easy to just use some of these crystals to get the secondary stat and then uh, sacrifice the rest, right? Dismantle the rest. Same with the the uh, necklace and earrings. And so you do that and you guarantee the thing you want. I mean, if you have a shit ton of these, you can even go for some engravings, I guess. But they're going to get replaced, right? Because when you hit the next item level, you see these, right? Like, for example, oh, for tier two, for example, you from 802, you go to 840 and you go to 920 here, right? You just keep doing this. And uh, I'll just give you an example for this one, okay? I'll just use this because I don't really care about those crystals. So let's say you're looking for, uh, I'm a pally, I want swiftness, and I want either like awakening or expert or uh, desperate prayer or whatever, or desperate, whatever the aura is called, right? So I look at this one and look at that. I got uh, specialization, which is like, I mean, I could use that if I want to, uh, but I got grudge too. If I want to be a grudge one enjoyer, I could use that ring. But you just keep buying these rings. Uh, and then once you get, w remember, once you get one of the one that you want, note the name, like Twisted Shadow, if this was perfect for you, then do not buy any more Twisted Shadow. Then you want to start spamming uh, for your second ring. You want to get the Twisted Light because if you get a good one on the Shadow, you can't equip two of the same name. That's it. That's how you get, you guarantee the um, stats and maybe some awakenings when you hit next tiers or you hit next breakpoints. Okay, that's the video. If you guys enjoy the video, like and subscribe. Uh, stream every day on Twitch, twitch.tv slash QDog underscore. There it is. Okay, bye. Thanks for watching my video. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.